All right, guys, Boy 32 here, checking out. So we're sitting in our home away from home. This is part two of a multi-part series on Joe Biden's gun control plan and how he plans on combating gun violence in our country. Now, I just want to try to reach out to the people who just went out and recently purchased your first firearm. If you plan on keeping that firearm, then maybe you really want to listen up to this thing. All right, before we do that, <laughs> Cafe Bustillo. I love this stuff. All right. Uh, so yesterday we talked about how uh, he, Joe Biden was going to hold gun manufacturers accountable by getting rid of the Protection of Law for Commerce in Arms Act. And basically what that means is uh, that's an act that protects firearm manufacturers from uh, victims, families coming after them after they've been shot or harmed by a firearm, which Basically, what's amazing to me is that uh, Joe Biden says that no other industry is held to this standard. So, Joe, uh, no, if, if a firearm uh, explodes, uh, then the manufacturer is uh, liable, either the ammo manufacturer or the uh, manufacturer of the firearm. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about. Get weapons off our streets. Now, I'm reading this right from uh, Joe Biden's plan to end gun violence, gunsafety.com or whatever. JoeBiden.com, gun safety. Bans on assault weapons and high-capacity magazines that Biden, along with Senator Feinstein, now this is some funny shit right here, uh, secured in 1994. He acts like he was an integral part of it, uh, securing this. Well, <laughs> got news for you. The bill that ultimately became law passed in the Senate with a vote of 95 to 4. So, Joe, you're just jumping on the bandwagon. And right here, you're trying to act like you led the damn thing, which is kind of interesting. It leads me into another subject that's kind of on a sidebar. I saw a commercial the other day talking about how Joe Biden led the attack in a 2014-16 to 16 outbreak in Ebola. <laughs> there were four confirmed cases in the United States with only two deaths. So, woo, way to go, Joe. Way to toot your own damn horn. All right, let's talk about this. How does he plan on... Uh, getting weapons of war off the street. First, he's going to do is ban manufacturing and sale of assault weapons and high capacity magazines. The federal law prevents hunters from hunting migratory game birds and more than three shells in their shotgun. That means the federal law does more to protect ducks than children. Here's the here's the the whole thing, Joe, is that firearms are designed to kill. That's what they are designed for to do. All Firearms are military-grade weapons, as far as I'm concerned. So when you want to so-called protect these children, the only thing that you can do to protect them is to completely take guns off the street. And that's from gun violence. And still then, the only people who will have guns are criminals. So what you're doing is you're trying to take firearms out of law-abiding gun owners and putting them at exposure and danger of being killed by someone with a gun who bought it illegally. All right, it's wrong. Joe Biden will enact legislation to once again ban assault weapons. This time, the bans will be designed based on lessons learned from the 1994 ban. It had a 10-year sunset on it, instead of the 1986 sun ban, the gun ban. But the, th the problem with these gun bans is studies show that they didn't really have any effect on, well, crime. It's just... They have this concept, and I don't know why it's being pushed so hard by the left, is that these evil guns that look like, you know, stuff that come out of the military should not belong in your hands, which means, it, it, to me, it, it's more of a control issue. They don't want you to have firearms that look anything like what the military have, because you're not, you're not, you're not capable, you're not trustworthy, you're not, you're, you're a citizen, a pawn, really and truly, as long as they've got your vote. That's exactly what you are. All right, let's keep forward. Uh, for example, the ban circumventing the minor changes. All right, so you won't allow them to circumvent minor changes and don't limit the weapons lethality. Lethality. <laughs> All right, let's talk about it. regulate possession of existing assault weapons under the National Firearms Act. First of all, he's identifying already the firearms that you own as an assault weapon. Now, currently, the National Firearms Act requires individuals possessing machine guns, silencers, and short-barreled rifles to undergo a background check and register those weapons with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives. Due to these requirements, such weapons are rarely used in crimes. Asshole. 
AR-15s are rarely used in crimes. Unfortunately, the ones that are used in, there's a, a, a large amount of uh, casualties, but they're rarely used. As President Biden will pursue legislation to regulate possession of existing assault weapons under the National Firearms Act. And this is what I was talking about in yesterday's video. Are we going to be subject to a $200 tax stamp in the event that we have to register these things under the NFA? And he's talking about not only firearms, but magazines as well. This is going to hurt people ultimately at the end of the day because if you've got someone who has five or six firearms that fall under this category, they might not be able to afford what they call, I'm surprised he's not calling out for some kind of liability insurance. Uh, buy back assault weapons and high capacity magazines already in the community. Biden will also institute a program to buy back weapons of war currently. Weapons of war. I just love that one. This, I don't know, can you say something hell about weapons of mass super destruction of war and, and lethal and blood and guts and gore? Never mind. This will give individuals who now possess assault weapons or high capacity magazines two options. Two, this is going to get, oh, he's going to give you an option. Sell the weapons to the government or register them under the NFA. So I guess this covers those individuals who can't afford the $200 tax stamp. This is so far leftist, ridiculous BS I have ever heard in my life. The next one and the final one under this one sub subsection till tomorrow is reduce stockpiling of weapons. In order to reduce the stockpiling of firearms, Biden supports legislation restricting the number of firearms an individual may purchase per one month, per one per month. Purchase per month to one. Similar to what Mr. Ralph Northam, it's, it, they follow the same game plan pretty much on all of their uh, stupid little videos. Um, <laughs> on the game plan, or whatever. It's been early in the morning. Anyway, I've only had a couple of sips of my coffee. But anyway, that's what I wanted to get to you guys today. Uh, tomorrow we'll be talking about how he wants to keep guns out of dangerous hands. Which seems to me, that's what you should be more concentrating on rather than trying to keep guns out of uh, non-dangerous hands. Law-abiding citizens. You don't trust anyone, do you, Joe? The left don't trust anybody. And I'm not even going to touch on the Kamala Harris thing right now. Right now. I will in the future, though. But the hypocrisy is deep. And the lies are steep. Y'all let me know what you think about this video down below. Tomorrow we'll be talking about this. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, but I get fired up about this kind of stuff. Because it's full of lies and misconceptions. And it's just trying to pawn these things off on the public. But right now, right now, people, more people in the United States own firearms than ever which means that you have the ability to change the vote. What is this guy going to do differently now that he hasn't done already in the past 40 years? Sit there and spew a bunch of lies and trying to maintain power. You look at those three. Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, and Joe Biden. They're all translucent, they're elderly, and they're delusional. It's Coda Boy 32 If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.